everyone. And today we're going to do a Rammstein ranking of the, all their albums. Now, a few things to clarify before we jump into this. Metal Trenches made this tier list. Go follow him. He's a great YouTuber. He does lots of great videos. I, his opinions are very valid, and he always backs them up with very solid ideas. And yeah, I respect a lot. I respect him a lot, even if I don't have the same opinion as him when it comes to some albums, just because he's very down to earth. And because of that, subscribe to him. He's a really down to earth guy. Another thing is, if you want me to rank some of the side projects of this band, like. music now their debut easy b tier it's not mind-blowing but it's really good to start things off they start off on a high note mainly because they have one of their best hits ever on the song on this album dirty so good it's such a great song and the electronics sounds so great on this album it sounds very 90s and it sounds very gritty especially since they grew up in a post Berlin or Soviet Union Berlin and it just sounds so gritty because of that it probably influenced their sound to a degree due to the sad reality they were in since a lot of them like I said grew up in that grim aesthetic and atmosphere and because of that the album just sounds so great and raw it's not an A or an S tier just because it's not really outstanding but it is outlandish and it's pretty good when it comes to that when it when I regard that now their second album. It's A tier. Yeah, baby. It's slightly better, but I don't think it's an S tier. Just because I think other albums are better when it comes to the overall sound of the drums, the guitar, just how brutal it sounds and how metal it is. But I do love some songs in here like Angel, Tia, but Do Hust is the highlight of this album. The, the one of a kind song on here. It's just so in your face, and I love how the music video is kind of inspired by Quentin Tarantino. Every music video, in that matter of fact, is inspired by Quentin Tarantino since they're always walking away at the end of each video, just frolicking around. It's it's I love that since I'm a huge Quentin Tarantino fan. I love how they're inspired by that, inspired by some directors from the West. And because that's an A tier, just a solid album, really good album. Now, their third album is easily S tier. Fuck yes! E mainly because of the amount of hits that this album has under its belt. It has songs like Ishville, Fio Frail. Sonny, and by the way, if I butcher some of the pronunciation here, I apologize. I'm not German. Well, no shit, Sherlock. But Links 234, and just every other song in general is just so good in this album. I do have one complaint, but it's not a very big complaint. It's very minor. The bottom half isn't as good as the upper half, because most of the hits are in the top section of the album, but still really good despite that. And it's just, this is where Till really shines. This is overall the peak of Rammstein this is their heyday and it sounds really good and the album are is just so creepy and disturbing the whole baby face and I hope someday I have this on vinyl this is the one band I don't have any vinyl on I do have a vinyl on Ghost and Korn but not this which I kind of regret not having but maybe down the line I will have vinyl and this would be the album I'd get on vinyl easily but next album Speaking of a masterpiece, Riza Riza. This is also an S tier. And this might be the last album on S tier, but I might be wrong. Depends how I feel at the, towards the end. But yeah, it has really good disturbing songs like Mind Tile. It's one of my favorite Rammstein songs of all time. America's really good, despite the fact it's such a huge hit. It's overplayed. Still really good. Kind Lust is good. And every song on here is just so brutal and just unsettling. This is a very unsettling sounding album and that's why i love it now this is probably my second least favorite album but i'd still give it a b tier just because it has really good songs in here like man gegen man i i, I probably butcher that too rose and root 
Spring. It has really good songs. It just sounds like all these songs on this album came from this album. This this sounds like all the albums I got worn on the cutting board that just got scrapped and later put into an album. It sounds like this is like, I don't know, the B-side or not B-side, but extra songs. It just doesn't sound that good. And it, this is definitely their most bland album when it comes to the sound. Because like I said, it sounds like this album. So it just sounds like a two-part. It doesn't sound original. And that's why I don't like it. But still really good despite that. That's my main criticism. The Achilles heel of this album is it's generic. Still re really good. It's probably my second, second least favorite album. Now, this is probably my least favorite album in general. And I think I'm going to give it a D tier. Just because there's only one good song on this album, and it's the P word. Pussy. But other than that, every other song is just so boring, so monotonous, and it's just, they really, they really bombed it here. And I don't understand how, I mean, it's kind of understanding they took a four-year break from making an album, and that kind of explains everything. Yeah, they really dropped the ball on this. D for dropping the ball. And it's just not a good album because every other song on the album besides the P word Pussy. is just very boring, very edgy. And yeah, even though it's kind of, it's, I don't know, this isn't really their comeback. And there's, there's a reason why they kind of start a hiatus after this because most of the 2010s, they were on a hiatus. Until this album, they're self-titled, which is kind of their comeback album, obviously, because they named it after their band. And even though this is a, per se, comeback, it's still not very good. It's it's all right. I love their first single, Deutschland, right? I mean, it looked like a freaking movie. That music video is outstanding. The budget on that had to be in the millions. But it's still, it's, everything else on the album is just very just boring and bland they really saved the best for the first song after that it just felt kind of hopeless as they gradually released other singles i just i don't really like the other songs in this album but i do love some songs like puppy sex radio uh, but everything else is just oishlander it's just everything else is just not that good and it, it kind of suffers the same problem the same roots of a problem like Rosenroot because it's just very boring and it seems like they didn't learn anything because this, this, this sounds generic and doesn't sound like they were inspired by anything but still a really good album despite that and I think like I said my favorite song is probably Deutschland Sex is pretty good even though it's kind of immature I'm still really good I mean you can't really take any of their lyrical content <laughs> uh, serious unless you like I, I don't know even I don't take it serious, and I can't even understand half what they say, but I'm pretty sure the imagery of a couple of their videos can kind of give imply everything. But their latest album, Zeit, I think, uh, this might be a hot take, but this is their real comeback, A tier. I think this is as good as this album, just because there are some really good songs on here. Like, their first song, Arme der Tristan, is a really good song. It's very foreboding for what's to come. Zai is a good ballad. Zigzag is a very funny song, but very catchy. It's surprisingly probably my top 20 Rammstein songs. Angst is really good. Dick Titten, <laughs> if you take that serious, it's really good. The music video is laughably funny. Or laughably just inappropriate but and baffling, but still really good. And it's just, a, I might get this album on vinyl too, just because it's such an improvement from what they've released in the past 15 years. Because this album was all right. It kind of foreshadowed what was to come in a negative way. I mean, this album should have been burnt by the cigarette. If that's even a cigarette, I can't even, or that, that's not even a cigarette. That's a fucking, I don't know, but. This album is just not very original, and yeah, it's uh, not a great album, but every time I focus on this album, I just get slightly more miserable, but when I listen to this, I just, I it makes me know that they've improved, 
And to be honest, they've only had one really bad album. But even then, this album is very listenable. It's just I, I only listen to this album once every couple of years. That's how you know how much I hate this album. But it's still decent despite that because there are some decent songs like the P word. Pussy. But I think that wraps it up. If, Like I said, you want me to rank some other projects they've made? Let me know down in the comments. And if you want me to talk about any other industrial bands, especially, let me know down in the comments too. And with that out of the way, see you guys. Peace.